Wabash Township trustee Jennifer Tising is standing trial this week on 21 felony theft charges. Prosecutors say Tising moved outside the township last year, forfeiting her position as trustee, but continued to collect a township paycheck. News 18's Joe Paul sat in on the first day of the trial and joins us live tonight from the Tippecanoe County Courthouse. Joe, this is an interesting case of an elected official being tried in her own county. Yeah, hey there, that's right. Tysing waived her right to a jury trial and instead opted for a bench trial. That means a judge, not a jury, will decide if she's guilty or innocent. And at the center of this trial is whether or not she packed up late last year with intentions to move to Florida. Well, while entering the courtroom this morning for the first day of her trial, Tysing showed up wearing a Panama City beach sweater. She's accused of living there at an RV park. A contract presented as evidence shows she reserved a spot at the park from October until April this year. BMV records show she bought a truck and travel trailer after selling her West Lafayette home in June 2020. Bank records show she made purchases in Minnesota, Colorado, and Florida after that. Former Township Fire Chief Ed Ward says Tysing told him she planned to quit as trustee and move to Florida. He's also in the middle of a wrongful termination suit against Tysing. He was fired shortly after blowing the whistle to state agencies and local media. He's trying to recover money from his lost job and Tysing's attorney argued that he stood to benefit from a guilty verdict. Her attorney also noted that BMV, bank and Amazon records all showed that Tysing's address was 132 Knox Drive in West Lafayette. That's where Tyson contends she's been living ever since she sold her home. Um, one more thing to note that Tyson's attorney questioned witnesses today about snowbirds, otherwise known as people who move out of or travel out of state during the cold winter months. We'll continue to follow this trial. It's going to continue into tomorrow and potentially Wednesday. For now, I'm reporting live in Lafayette. Joe Paul, News 18.